grace. When something has happened and you are jolted, don't rush to the person who has done what jolts you. When something has happened and you feel offended, don't be boisterous and go immediately to the person that is making your heart to boil. Go into your chamber, approach the throne of grace, that you may obtain mercy yourself, Lord, if my heart were like yours, if my mind were like yours, I wouldn't be boiling inside like that. Go into privacy and approach God for his mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Pray for yourself first. Lord, you may come anytime. And this thing that is brewing in my heart and giving me suggestions as to what I should do, how I should approach the matter with angry revenge. I need your help. And then the grace of God will come to you. Don't stand up here from the prayer and pray now for the person who is giving you that kind of hot, boiling heart within oh lord if she were to come inside me and think with my brain and see with my sight and feel the way i feel she wouldn't have done that if he were to come inside me and feel and see and think the way i think he wouldn't have said that or done that. Have mercy on him. Have mercy on her. Give her wisdom. Give him wisdom. Give him a change of mind. Give her a change of mind. Give him, give her a change of thoughts, a change of personality. If she saw what I have seen, if she knew the scripture I knew, he would, she wouldn't have done that give her the grace to see what she has not seen after you prayed for yourself you all right you prayed for him you prayed for her and she's all right before you come out and now when you come out you see him you see her with a different view with a different understanding because of the prayer you have prayed for the grace of god in you and for the grace of god for him or for her and then we'll be able to deal with each other by grace in love in compassion in redemption and in reconciliation god help us Jude chapter 1 verse 20. Jude chapter 1, but she beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. After you have prayed in the Holy Ghost, you should think in the Holy Ghost. You should behave in the Holy Ghost. You should act in the Holy Ghost. Look at verse 21. In verse 21, keep yourselves in the love of God. Draw a circle and make the inside of that circle as a picture of the love of God for you. Step inside. And anything I'm going to say, anything I'm going to do, whichever way I'm going to act, I'm keeping myself in that circle of the love of God. No word will come out. No action will come out. No facial expression will come out except as you stand, as you stay in the circle of the love of God. We're coming to point number three. Point number three, true believers of the armor of righteousness. Three things. Number one, the recklessness of the path of lawlessness. Number two, the revelation during the period of the Lord. Number three, our righteousness as partakers of his love. Look at number one. Number one, the recklessness in the path 
of lawlessness. Bring yourself under control. If you're saved, you're born again. If you're sanctified, if you're a child of God, don't be lawless. Bring yourself under the control of the Lord himself. Because lawless people are reckless people. They act recklessly. They speak recklessly. They approach life recklessly. They drive the vehicle of their lives recklessly. And they, they have accidents. Reckless people. Those who are reckless against their neighbors, reckless against their wives, reckless against their husbands, reckless against their children, reckless against everyone. They don't care how you feel. They don't care what happens to Shechem, what happens to Hamor, what happens to the city. They are reckless. Such reckless people are not favored by heaven. Reckless people walk in the path of lawlessness. We're looking at chapter 34 of Genesis, verse 30. Genesis chapter 34, verse 30. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me. You love your dad. You have troubled me. You give me trauma. You give me stress. Ye have troubled me to make me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed. I and my house. Simeon, Levi, you know what you've done? God had given the promise to Abraham. And then it passed on to Isaac. The blessing of Abraham, the land, the children, as the sand at the seashore. And as the stars of heaven, all that now has passed unto me. But if I'm going to have the fulfillment of all those blessings and eventually the seed Christ will come through me, I have to remain alive. But now, Simeon, you have troubled me. You have jolted me. You have disturbed me. And you are about to quench my land. Look at verse 31. Did they understand? No. Or can I? They said, Should he deal with her sister as an harlot? Simeon, Levi, I hear your question. Should you, in anger, destroy the whole city? You have your question? We have our questions too. Should you deceive those people to be circumcised and then you wipe them out? You have a question? Should they deal with her sister as an harlot? Should you kill Hamor, the father, and then shake him? Should you have done that? As you point one finger to what they have done, the rest of the fingers are pointing at you. Should you send people to eternity just because of that one offense and they're not ready and they go to hell? Should you have a final say in their lives that makes them to perish? Look at what they did. Reckless because they were lawless. Number two, Number two, the revelation during the period of the Lord. Leviticus chapter 19, reading from verse 17. Thou shalt not hate 
thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in, in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Rebuke him. Tell him it's not right. You have not done well. And if you're going to marry, this is not how to marry. Bring out Dinah first. Well, take Dinah back home. What has happened should not have happened. Well, then talk to daddy. Well, talk to mommy. Mommy Leah. And then, well, bring decision back to you. But what you've done is wrong. Make it clear. Don't use deception. Don't use diplomacy. That's not of God. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Look at verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself i am the lord let's look at number three here point number three our righteousness as partakers of his love in romans chapter 12 reading from verse 17 Recompense to no man evil for evil. Recompense to no man, to no woman evil for evil. In the family, things happen. Two people are living together. You have different backgrounds, different way of thinking, and different, you're born again, you're saved, you're sanctified. But you have your personality. And because of that, offenses may come. Things you don't appreciate may come. And now in the church, brothers and sisters, we're saved, we're born again. Ministers, pastors, Christian workers. But we have a different backgrounds. We have levels of understanding. Some are superficial, others a little bit deep, others are deeper and higher. And we interact together and belong to the same family of God. Things might happen. I don't appreciate that. Tell him. I don't accept that. Tell her. No grudge bearing, no stabbing at the back, no going to the lifestyle of Simeon and Levi and using the instruments of cruelty and stabbing them at the back or even to their face and killing them, killing their joy, killing their vision and killing their progress, and killing their ministry, and not caring. If he discourages him, good enough for him. If he kills his vision, good enough for him. If he does not want to get up and move on and run the race again, good enough for him, but I'm angry, and I'm going to show him how. Why are you going to do that? Are we not brothers? Is the mission and the ministry not of Christ? And if your brother, your sister is carrying on the ministry of Christ, are you so angry you're going to kill the ministry, the mission, the commission of Christ, your Savior, because of him? Be more thoughtful and be loving and come to the grace of the New Testament. Recompense to no man evil for evil, providing things honest in the sight of all men. Look at verse 18. If it be possible, as much as it lieth in you, don't allow 
that revenge to start from you. Don't allow that retaliation to start from you. Don't allow the fight to start from you. As much as it is in your power, what you will do, you will find the ground where you can trust the Lord and believe the Lord and don't allow anything, anything of evil to stammer out of you. And what the Lord has told us, he has told us so we can live as he wants us to live and recompense to no man evil for evil provide things honest in the sight of all men that you as a child of God having the grace of God you as a child of God having the salvation that we testify about that we profess you as a child of God having a mission having a commission and you want to fulfill that commission and mission and you want him and you want her and you want everyone around to fulfill that commission he wants you not to recompense to any man evil for evil you know what's evil what is done that you don't like that you don't appreciate, that you don't accept, that you don't accept, that's the evil. If he has done it to you and you do not appreciate it, then you will not appreciate, he will not appreciate it if you do it to her. Make up your mind that your life will be a life of grace. Give me a good amen. Your life will be a life of love. Your life will be a life of showing mercy and considering the joy and considering the happiness of everyone around you. And if it be possible, as much as it lies on you, it says that you will live, you will act, you'll behave, you'll do everything peaceably because the peace of God reigns in you. And the God of peace also reigns and controls your life as much as it lies in your power, as much as it lies starting from you, you will live peaceably with all men. And then he tells us in verse 19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves don't revenge take that out of your life out of your action out of your behavior and let your life be like the life of christ all the things that were done to him he didn't revenge he didn't retaliate he didn't avenge himself and he tells us, dearly beloved, if we're dearly beloved, if we're children of God, if we have the grace of God, if we're real children of God, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Wrath is coming. Don't we just stay there? Give place. Let the wrath pass by. Let the anger pass by. Let it not get into you and let it not influence your lifestyle that every day if it happened yesterday as it happens today now you say lord your grace is sufficient amen your mercy is sufficient amen your redemption is sufficient amen and you will not give chance or give place or give any liberty to wrath in your life because it says, for it is written, vengeance is mine, and I will repay, says the Lord. Leave it in the hands of God, and the Lord will do what he will do. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. What's the conclusion? Therefore, in verse 20, if an enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, 
thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Somebody shout, Amen. The grace of God will produce the goodness of God in our lives in Jesus' name. The evil in the world, the actions of the world, the anger of the world will not change our conviction. Conviction of love, conviction of grace, conviction of living without anger and living only by the grace of God. And I pray that that grace of salvation, that grace of sanctification, that grace of Christly attitude and Christ-like behavior will multiply in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Let's rise up now and take everything we have learned to the Lord in prayer. The Lord has spoken to us today and has assured us we shouldn't have uh, that old nature, the old nature of anger, the old nature of revenge, the old nature of retaliation in the family, husband and wife, parents and children, in the office, workers, civil servants together, in a community we live by the love of God and by the affection that comes from heaven. Check yourself. Check your life. Is that old nature there? Is that old depravity there? Is that old anger there? Is that old revenge, retaliation there? And does it well off so much that you will destroy a man, a family, neighbors, friends, community people because of the anger? Check up. Settle it with the Lord. And don't think about them first, what they've done, what they're doing, the evil action. Think about yourself. Lord, why have I been like that? Why do I use deception? Why do I pretend? Why do I make them to feel at ease and yet I'm planning something? unthinkable against them. Certainly, we cannot go to heaven for that kind of heart. The heart of revenge. We cannot go to heaven with that. The heart of, re of uh, retaliation. We cannot go to heaven with that kind of heart. Tell the Lord, are you transparently loving to your husband? Are you transparently loving to your wife? Are you transparently loving to all the brothers and the sisters and your act by grace, in love, in mercy, in friendliness, in fellowship, think about it. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Lord, circumcise my heart. Simeon and Levi were circumcised in the flesh, but are not circumcised in the heart. And they were calling on other people to be circumcised, tell the Lord that your life will be a life yielded, given, surrendered to the Lord. Make a choice. 
Are you going to be living in bitterness or living in blessedness? There's danger of defilement, but those who roam about, those who wander about, like Dinah, do you roam about in your life? Roam on social media, wonder about you know, things you saw on the internet, on the net, do you wonder about, roam about. You don't have enough to do that will keep your interest at home. Tell the Lord that habit, the habit of wondrous, that the Lord will cancel it and crush it away from your life. The life of deception in talk, in convincing other people to do something when you know you're actually leading them in an errand that will destroy their lives. Deception will carry damnation to you. The Lord denounces, condemns that act that will injure the life of any other person here on earth or will jeopardize their eternity. And if you affect the eternity of people in a negative way and you never think about it, you do not have the mind of Christ. He died for the people, but you rather because of what they've done against you, you rather they die and go to hell. Your mind is different from that of Christ. What do you want to tell the Lord? Lord, I want the heart, the mind, the spirit of Christ. The word of God forbids revenge, retaliation. thoughtless, wanton destruction of the lives of others. If they don't something you don't appreciate, tell them. Are you afraid of them? Face them. Tell them it's not right. Don't bother about consequences. That's better than killing them. Pray for them. Pray for yourself. Let the grace of God come in your heart and live at the center of the love of God. True believers with the armor of righteousness. Lawless people are reckless. They don't show the evidence of salvation, reckless, reckless in their drive, reckless in their actions, reckless in the way of deception, reckless because they are lawless. Why don't you pray that Lord, being a child of God, Recklessness and lawlessness will not be part of my life anymore. No revenge, no retaliation, pure, sincere, transparent love of God. And true righteousness as partakers of the love of Calvary. 
In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Father, we thank you for the revelation of your word. We thank you for the truth. We thank you, Lord, for the love of God, which is shared abroad in the heart of every true believer. Lord, we pray that all the actions of revenge, of anger, of animosity, of hatred, of retaliation in the past, wipe it out from every heart, every life, in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to be conscious of heaven every time. Conscious that Christ may come at any time. And the best place, the best position to be is not the position of anger, of violence, of, um, of hatred, of retaliation, of fighting. Lord, help us to be conscious that since you can come at any time, your grace will be filled, must fill our heart every time in Jesus' name. And when we feel offended, something has happened to our diner, something has happened to our daughter, something has happened to our son, something has happened to our wife or husband, help us, Lord, to stop first and not to rush into action, but to have your love in our heart, your affection in our heart, and the grace of God to fill our heart in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord, to have the sincerity, the honesty, and the boldness, and the courage to approach the one that has done evil and say, I come to you in the name of the Lord. This is not right. And to settle it face to face like, courage, like a courageous soldier of the cross in Jesus' name. Lord, fill our hearts again with your love. Fill our hearts again with your affection. And give us the boldness and the courage to go through life in the peace of God, in the love of God, in the conviction of Christ in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord, to bring other people into life, eternal life, and to heal help people and lead them to heaven, not to hell in Jesus' name. Let there be peace in every heart, the joy of the Lord in every heart, and reliance upon your mercy and your grace upon every heart in Jesus' name. Why? away the past give us a new life and lead us to the next level of always living like christ will want us to live thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray but oh lord who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee, O oh Lord? You are faithful in the morning. You are faithful all the time. Who is like unto thee, O oh Lord, O oh Lord? O oh Lord, you are faithful in the morning, you are faithful all the time. Who is like unto thee, O oh Lord? Blessed be thy name, blessed be thy name, blessed be thy name, O oh Lord. Blessed be thy name, blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Blessed be thy name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name. 
Blessed be the name, O Lord. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. O glory, glory, glory to the Lord. O glory. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Let us praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Oh, Emmanuel is here. Let us praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Oh, praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Let us praise his holy name. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Tell me what's your joy if you do not have Jesus. Tell me what's your joy. Tell me what's your joy. Tell me what's your joy if you do not have Jesus. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me what's your joy. Oh, tell me. Tell me, tell me, hallelujah, if you do not have Jesus, tell me what's your joy, tell me what's your joy, if you do not have Jesus, oh, tell me, tell me, tell me what's your joy. Hallelujah, tell me what's your joy if you do not have Jesus. Tell me what's your joy, tell me what's your joy, let us tell me what's your joy. Oh, tell me, tell me, oh no, tell me, tell me, are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Saved by grace. Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Saved by grace. Are you in that number? Are you in that number? Saved by grace. Are you in that number? Are you in that number? You must be born again. You must be born again. Verily, verily, as I say unto you, you must be born again. Amen. You must. Amen. You must be born again. Verily, verily, as I say unto you, you must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. 
verily, verily, yes, I say unto you, you must be born again. All the way to Calvary he went for me. Jesus went for me. Savior went for me. All the way to Calvary he went for me. He died to set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus went for me. Savior went for me. He died to set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus went for me, Savior went for me. He is my everything, He is my all. He is my everything, both great and small. He made his life for me, made everything new. He is my everything, he is my all, he is my all, he is my everything, he is my all. Both great or small, made everything new, he is my everything. He is my all, he is my everything, he is my all. He is my everything, both great and small. He is my everything. Only for Jesus, they are today. Only for Jesus, let's come what's may, the Holy Spirit, I will obey. Only for Jesus, day after day, day after day, day after day, only for Jesus. Let's come what's may, the Holy Spirit. I will obey only for Jesus, day after day, day after day. Let's go what's made the Holy Spirit, only for Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided. I have decided. I have decided no turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back. No turning back, no turning back, I have decided. I have decided. I have decided. Close to thee. Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. All along my pilgrimage.
pilgrim's journey. Savior, let me walk with thee, close to thee, close to thee. Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. All along my pilgrim's journey, Savior, let me walk with thee, close to thee. Close to thee, oh, close to thee, close to thee. Close to thee all along. Brethren, the road is very narrow, is very narrow. Is very narrow, brethren. The road is very narrow. You must strive to enter in, enter in. It's very narrow, it's very narrow, it's very narrow, brethren. The road is very narrow. You must strive to enter in, enter in. It's very narrow. It's very narrow. Brethren. Until I reach my home, until I reach my home, I will never, never stop my journey of way. Hallelujah. Until I reach my home, until I see Jesus, until I see Jesus, until I see Jesus, I will never, never. Hallelujah, until I see, until I wear a crown, until I wear a crown, until I wear a crown. I will never, never stop. Hallelujah. Continue. Jesus says, continue. I am coming very soon. Bye and bye. Bye and bye. Bye and bye. By and by, continue. By and by, continue. Jesus says, continue. Bright in the corner where you are. Bright in the corner. Where you are, someone far from harbor you may find across the bar, bright in the corner where you are, bright in the corner, bright in the corner, someone far from harbor you may find across the bar. Where you are, bright in the corner, bright in the corner. Someone far from our boy you may find across the bar. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing. Yes, 
blessed to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. So let us walk, 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 walk. Walking in the light. Let us walk, 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 walk. Walking in the light, so let us walk, 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 walking in the light, walking in the light of God. Let us walk, so let us walk, walking in the light, let us walk, 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 let us walk, 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 walking in the light. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Oh, walking in the light of God. So let us walk, 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 walk. Let us walk, 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 walk. Let us walk, 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 walking in the light. This little light of mine, I will let it shine. This little light of mine, I will let it shine. This little light of mine. I will let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, hallelujah. I will let it shine, this little light of mine. I will let it shine, this little light of mine. I will let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Said day. It's a wonderful day for every sister and for every brother, for every daughter and for every son. And for our invitees, oh Lord, I pray tonight will be a night of miracle. Amen. It will be a night of power. It will be a night of release. And you will set your people free in Jesus' name. The anointing that breaks the yoke. The assurance that brings salvation and brings healing and brings deliverance. Oh Lord, pour it upon your people in Jesus' name. Wipe their tears away. Take their sorrows away. Change every life. And for those who are blessed already, add to their blessing. Multiply their blessing. Everyone, Lord, here today, I pray that nobody will go empty-handed. And for our brothers and sisters and sons and daughters, everywhere that they are linking up with us here, let the miracles flow. Let the anointing flow. Let the power flow to everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm the joy of the Lord in every life. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm so happy to be with you today because God is going to give you something. That's our amen. Yeah. We're looking at Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 19. It says, And I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, Thou shalt bind on the earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Whenever we read the Bible, there are many ways of reading the Bible. Number one, read the Bible like a message. The almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth that he wrote to you. Personally. And when you read this, imagine you are in the presence of the Almighty God and He calls you, He calls you by name and He says, Come. And He says, I will give unto you 
the keys of the kingdom talking to you personally. Don't think it's talking to that man, talking to that woman. You read it in, in that way. And it says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. The keys that will open the door. Doors are opening before you. The keys are to lock the door. Anything that is coming from anywhere and that thing is no good, it will close the door today. And it says, I give you that key. And it's the key of the kingdom. Now, imagine that kingdom. Imagine it's a territory. Imagine it's a house. And it has all treasures. Everything you need when God created you. You knew what you will need. You will need this and this and this and this. And everything is inside that room that is called the kingdom. But since you were born, you know that that door... You couldn't get anything. You didn't know how to go in. It says, come. You need the key. And the key only comes from me. And it says, I give you the key. The keys of the kingdom. And it says, with this key, there's a master key. I said, it's a master key. This one is the kingdom key. And it said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth, it is loosed in heaven. You read the Bible as if God himself spoke to you. And he said, this is what I'm giving you. Read the Bible another way. Read the Bible like somebody in front of you, like me now. Like I give you the word. Like you know me personally. Like I know you personally. And then I called you. And I said... You need something. What you need is inside a room there. And I say, I give you the key. Somebody there, you are getting the key today. Somebody there has the key. I said, somebody there has the key. Something will happen to you. And he says, imagine God is calling you tonight. And he said, mention your name now. It says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And then it says, when you have that key, whatsoever, my life has changed. Whatsoever, my destiny has changed. Whatsoever, my poverty has gone. Whatsoever, barrenness has gone. Whatsoever, attack has gone. It depends on what you want and what you say. Because I give you the key. I've got the key. I said I've got the key. And whatsoever, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, who is he talking to? I said, who is he talking to? And whatsoever you lose on earth, you will lose something today. That thing that tied you is today we're losing that thing. That thing that tied your wife, we're losing that thing today. That thing that... Look at that child, the child that is in prison there, and the child in captivity there. Tonight, we're losing that sin. And that sin that blocked your promotion, and blocked your work, and blocked your progress. You try to go, they close the door. Thank God today, somebody there. I said somebody there. You have the key. I said you have the key. You will open that door. You will open that door. That devil will be bound in your life. That sickness will be healed in your life. That prosperity will float your life. Something good is coming your way. Your family will change. If you are living inside a place where we cannot call a house, you are coming out of that place because God is going to give you a mansion. Something, it will be different in your life. This year, I'm going to remind you again, this year is going to be the best year you ever lived in your life. Because it says, behold, I give a key to you tonight. And whatsoever, and whatsoever you open here, it's opened in heaven. Whatever you lose here is loosed in heaven. Sister, you have a miracle.